What would you say the number one cause of cancer is? I'd say genetics. Um, genetics. Is it an inherited from genes and stuff? So I would think that's the number one cause. I think it's really just luck and genes. The vast majority of Americans believe that cancer affects people randomly. What's that? You have stage four colon cancer? Blame it on bad luck. Would you say that cancer is a genetic disease? Yes, I would say cancer is a genetic disease. Typically, if your parents have it, you're more inclined to have it. I've got not a clue, but possibly yes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Most of it is. However, this is a lie. The most common cancers are preventable through your lifestyle choices. This is true even if you have a specific genetic predisposition for cancer. What would you say is the largest environmental cause of cancer? I believe smoking is the largest cause of cancer. I would say good genes and, and healthy living. Healthy. For example, none of us ever smoked. What do I mean by lifestyle decisions? Specifically, I'm referring to the food that we eat. We can prevent these cancers by choosing to eat healthy. Cancer is a metabolic disease, not a genetic one, that stems from inflammation. The number one inflammatory thing in our everyday lives is the average American diet. It's no wonder that cancer cases have increased by 80% in the past three decades in people under the age of 50. However, it took me over a year and a half of researching and interviewing experts to understand this. The current idea that cancer is a genetic disease is based on ideology, not on the science any longer. We have so much control over our health and it comes down to diet. 12 days after the diagnosis of my mom was dead, and that is truly a preventable unnecessary death. Unnecessary deaths end now.